Hi, Cyber Spruce here, back with another Answer Our Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 206. And at the end of last episode, I told you that I discovered this upgrade existed, which is in Big Rip, you gain tachyon particles without dilating time. So this is gonna allow me to get a lot more tachyon particles in Big Rip, so let's just let's just get it and then actually go into Big Rip. So here Am I going to actually get tachyon particles? Because I know I've gotten more into matter in Big Rip. So, um, it does not look like I'm getting any more tachyon particles. I'm not sure what I need to get tachyon particles, but I don't see this moving up, so I'm going to assume that I just don't have enough happening. Honestly, that that's okay. I shouldn't expect that to just happen right out of the blue. So... I mean, I know it's kind of a disappointment that it does nothing right now, but one, I know, once I get farther into this Higgs Bells and Run, like once I get like 13 or 14 of these upgrades, I, I've heard it's a pretty overpowered upgrade. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what it does, but anyway, I need to progress further to unlock that. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later, and I've gone six ghostly bosonic runes i know that's a little overkill but anyway we got that upgrade which yeah you, you know how huge that is to get and at this point i mean i can get a few levels of this doesn't do much bigger just to get yeah more of these bosons actually i should probably just go into big rib at this point because i can do a lot first of all more rewards um 14 radioactive decays and are you getting any more tachyon particles still not but I, I know I actually I, I will get them soon. So at this point, I guess I can get turned to Sonic Runes. There's actually not much I can do, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I can just grind bows. That's what I will do. So yeah, see in another bit. Okay, so it's been a while since last time. I, I've grinded a lot of W plus bows and Z bows. And I've even... Actually, I've... I haven't done much other than that. I have saved a lot of runes to get all these upgrades at once. So I can get this one, which is decent. I can get this one, which is also decent. This one, which I think, yeah, it's really good. And then now that I just grinded enough Infinity Bosonic runes, I can also get this one. So that's four upgrades in one. Not only that, I can um, get a lot more levels of this. Like, I, I think I have gotten a few levels of this off camera, but not that many. So I... I can probably just do this, and then this, and then put everything into here. Because right now, my runes, or this, is actually, my, my runes per second is actually limited by, not by the, not by the W plus bosons, but actually by the, by this upgrade. So I'm going to grind Z bosons, um, am I not already, okay, I'm already grinding Z bosons. I feel like that's really weak, considering how many levels I just got. Oh, this is disabled. That's why. Now if I oscillate the Z-Bows, and I can get ridiculous amounts. That's why it was so bad. And, yeah, that's a ridiculous amount of Z-Bows that I have just gotten. And I can max this, and now I'm getting um, the amount of runes per second I would normally get. So now I can, yeah, I can... Get, I can grind these a lot quicker. While I do that, I will um, go into Big Rip, see if I can actually get any tachyon particles without dilating. It looks like I am. So I think as I eat 537, so that's actually pretty huge. And not only that, of course, there's Nano Field and Tree of Decay, 16 radioactive decays. Just All, all of this is just going to help everything. And yeah, I feel like I will get a bunch of um, at least one light empowerment. Like I'm, I, I'm confident that I'm gonna get at least one. And other than that, honestly, there's not even that much to focus on. I mean, I guess I can I can do this while making the overdrive better. Because I think while I'm recording, I do want the Bosonic overdrive to be active. But yeah, the next set of upgrades I'm going to go for it's. I mean, it's kind of exciting that I've gotten this, but it's not the most exciting thing ever. I mean, 
I can get that, but that does nothing. I can get the I can get this, which let's see if it's actually worth it. Yeah, it's probably worth it, honestly. So there's that. Okay, this movie is not. It's only two times the bosonic antimatter, but whatever. I can use this, and I can get more bosonic antimatter. Other than that, I think I'm just going to grind more Z bosons and just do a lot of stuff off camera. So yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, I'm back days later. I have grinded a lot of runes. I've grinded a ton of W plus and bosons, and I'm not sure if I'm grinding any Z bosons, but yeah, I have a ton of runes. It's gonna allow me to get one, two, three, four bosonic upgrades, which definitely this is a new record of antimatter. E five hundred and sixty eight quadrillion antimatter with these upgrades. The next one's far away. I need fifty billion of these and 5 million of ghostly bosonic runes. I think actually that is possible if I grind each rune for, I've actually calculated, um, it's something like 4 hours for the ghostly bosonic runes, so I'm guessing also 4 hours for the quantum bosonic runes. So, I mean, it is definitely possible, but I'm not sure if I would actually want it. I'm going to go into Big Rip instead. Almost E250 billion in Big Rip. I can probably get a ton of stuff in Nanofield. 131 rewards, 17 radioactive decays. And I think that alone is just going to allow me to get at least 10 more quadrillion, 10 quadrillion more orders of magnitude of antimatter. Okay, maybe it's not 10 quadrillion, but it's 7 quadrillion. That's, that's pretty good. And not only that, yeah, I can get, get more light empowerments. But I haven't even done any of the balsonic stuff because... Well, there's a ton I can do. I can get, I can essentially get this up by three orders of magnitude. This essentially is going to uh, make this upgrade three orders of magnitude more powerful. And I can do it to this upgrade as well, which is almost three orders of magnitude. This, this will probably make it about 20 to 25 times, yeah, as powerful. This means that, um, I don't know why I'm losing antiprions here. Yeah, I went from one sextillion to essentially one octillion Z bosons, and I know I don't need to grind ghostly balsamic runes anymore. I probably I probably want to do some something like this. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I could do. Actually, I want to grind it up to six 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 six. I was so close. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. See if I can. I can't. See if I can time it. No, I can't time it. Anyway, I can just grind this to get, if I want more bosonic battery, it's four times, but actually I don't really need bosonic battery. I can actually crank, I can crank this up all the way to max, and it doesn't even have that much of an effect. I'll just do three times while I'm on camera. So, yeah, I have an octillion Z bosons. This is going to allow me to, yeah, you can just see how much more powerful this is than before, and I, and I can probably grind all the stuff even more. Also, I can, I can get some levels of this. It doesn't even actually do much at this point. And maybe this is the time to light empowerment. Because I have 59 ultraviolet light. Um, I, I would need 55 to 1 light empowerment. That means I can actually get 2 light empowerments. So this means I'm going to, of course, ghostify. And I still can't gain all that much ghost particle. I don't know how I'm supposed to gain E3000. At least I'm going to break the E1422 barrier that I've been stuck at like for forever. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. I can go into Ghostify, get this slight empowerment. And unfortunately, the next one takes 60. I did not realize that it would take 60. I thought it was going to be like, I wasn't it like 45, 48, 52, 55, or 51, 55? Yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to go all the way to 60, but whatever. I that That's okay. I can... I can do this and get up to 16 radioactive decays. Um, maybe while I'm waiting here, I can convert W plus to, or W minus to W plus. I'm basically back where I was in antimatter. And yeah, now I have more antimatter and big rip than ever before. And more rewards than ever. And 17 radioactive decays. So. It's not like I'm even losing much. I mean, actually, I, I, I am getting these upgrades. So, the neutrinos don't really do much anymore, but 
Um, at least they're there. And I never need to dilate anymore because now I'm just getting it outside of Big Rip. So, yeah, I can just see how powerful this is. It will take a while for um, me to get enough Ghostly Rays. I only need 500 Octillion Ghostly Rays to reach um, the next Light Empowerment. And you can see how fast I'm producing Ghostly Rays. There is the limit, though. It's still well under 500 Octillion, so I do need to be concerned about that. But not even that concerned. And now I'm getting all of my W plus bosons back. So this is going to this is going to allow me to gain runes at a rate faster than ever before. And also this upgrade is is really actually becoming a barrier because now you can see it would normally take two point two point four four billion runes per second. But here it's only one point seven five billion. Now it's up to two point oh two. So Okay, now I have enough levels of this upgrade. And I'm not even sure what I want. Like, do I want to get... I'm Actually, I, I can get levels of, of this so quickly that... Yeah, this is pretty OP. I, as you can see, especially with the three times overdrive, overdrive speed. I can easily get another order of magnitude of this, which would increase the production and use of antiprions by another good bit. So... Not only that, I could do that with this. I don't think it, I think this is not as much as what I can do with that, but still, like you can just see how how much more I can do. So I I feel like maybe I'll do a little. I'll do like one more clip in this episode, and next episode I will actually try to do the Higgs reset because right now it requires forty eight. Uh, E48 Bosonic Antimatter. I know I could do this, and I could get one Higgs, but I'm going to want more than one Higgs. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I said see you in a bit last time. It has not been a bit. It's been like two weeks, and I barely remember how everything works, and I don't even know what I'm... I guess I can get this upgrade. Red Power boosts the first Bosonic upgrade. I, th I think that's what I was planning to do. I Yeah, I remember I had like a, like a week's plus worth of Bosonic Battery, yeah, I drained all that, so, yeah, but essentially I'm going to be getting this upgrade, so, what's the first Bosonic upgrade, oh yeah, it's this, the blue light effect, which, in turn, is the, um, I, is, is the blue power boost, which is a quirk thing, yay, which is, yeah, just dial at a time, so that means it'll buff nano field things, you can see I have 68 ultraviolet light, which is probably way more than I should have, at this point, but yeah, I'm gonna get this. It's probably only gonna really buff dilated time. I mean, maybe there's something happening in photons. Uh, my I'm, I'm, it doesn't even look like I'm getting much more dark matter than before. Maybe if I just go into Big Rip, it'll do something. Because let, let, let's see if I'm getting any tachyon particles. I'm looks like I'm getting something. I'm at E611, and if I just go back into a normal run. Maybe something will happen here. Yeah, E65 dark matter per second. It's not the greatest upgrade I've ever seen, but it's something. And I guess with all my excess of runes, I can, you know, do crazy things. But I'm going to save that for next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.